In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to attach a rubric to a particular assignment and then how you can use that to grade student submissions. So to get started, what I want to do is create an assignment and I can either do that by going to my calendar or in this case, because I don't have a calendar associated with the Chromebooks class, I can go to my activities and assignments. So you can see we have two assignments already created here. I'm going to go ahead and add an additional assignment. So I'm going to click add assignment. We're going to call this app review number three. Then right underneath here where it says select rubric, you can select any of the rubrics that you've made active. So again, ones that you're working on that you've saved as a draft are not going to show up here, but the ones that you have made active again will appear. So I can click on the web app review. I've selected that rubric. I'm going to say, please submit your app review. Going to make the due date on next Friday, the 24th at 3 p.m. And then I believe we are good to go. So I've got my assignment set up. I've got the rubric attached to it. Now I'm going to go ahead and click save. Now that I have the assignment created and I've attached the rubric to it, students can begin submitting their assignments. And you can see that one of my students has submitted their work here. So go in and our test student 99T user submitted their assignment. And what I want to do is probably either download this assignment or I want to go ahead and click on the student and I want to open this up in Google Drive. Well, at the same time, once I've got that open in a window or another tab, I'm going to click the grade button here. And you'll see the name of the rubric that's attached to this. and I can open that up and grade the student's assignment. So let's say relevance is a three. Usability was a four and content was a three for the app. Then I can click into comments and for each of those different criterion, I can leave comments for the student. There's my comment, and again, I can click into each of these fields. And when I'm finished, I can click hand back to student, and they will get a copy of this rubric uh, in their own PowerSchool Learning account.